In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four glossy steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I've just put a text called starts here and I've given kind of a cutout effect. And when I click the first option comes there, option one with the icon and the title and the detailed text again with some glossy effect here and the shadow effect at the bottom and my next click it will show me the second step you can see here with orange color then the third step with blue and then with pink the fourth step and it ends here so you can just do some simple like this also and this is without the animation and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the rectangles, select the rounded corner rectangle and make the height and width as this is 4 as height and width I'm going to make it as 3. So you end up getting this shape, shape outline, make it no outline and you can see a small orange point, you can just make it inside, maybe this much size, something like this. If you want, you can further bring it inside then i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate let me just right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to make it transparent this also i'm going to make transparent so that exactly uh, what i'm trying to do you will understand that now you can see here i'm going to cut the part which is visible on the top and the one which is highlighted here which is uh, i'm going to delete that one so what I'm going to do, the circle which I've added, the rectangle which I've added, let me just give some different color, you understand this. Now I'm just going to increase a little bit the wider than this one. So hold the Alt key and increase the size a little bit. We can see here very little. So that when we cut the corner should not be there. So let me just zoom in. You can see here I've just made it something like this. You can see here. And then select this blue rectangle hold the shift key select the second one under format merge shape you can subtract it so once you subtract you end up getting a shape something like this now what i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate go to rotate and i can just say flip vertical and i'm going to attach it here like this you can see here then I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D, attach it the other side and make sure that the height and sorry, the, the top part and the bottom part are matching. And again, I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D and then I'm just attaching this one here, something like this. So make sure that this and this align bottom and this and this align top. So once this is done, I'm just going to cut this end from both the places, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle. So I'm going to cut this much area here. You can see, let me just make it transparency also and press control D. I'm going to do the same thing from this side also. You can see here. So I'm going to select this, hold the shift key, select this one, merge shape, subtract it. And again, select this, hold the shift key and subtract from this as well. So you end up this one. I'm going to make it no transparent and time being, I'm just going to give some different color later on. I'm just going to change the color with the gradient fill. You can see here, I can just select any color and let me just put like this. The next step is I'm going to give a cutout effect here for that go to insert shapes, select the oval shape, draw the oval shape, maybe this much size. You can see here shape, shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill, make it black and increase the transparency to maybe 60% or 55%. Then go to effects under soft adjust, increase the size, something like this, maybe 8 point. 
and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle here shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white so you can see here it looks like a a cutout effect so i'm going to select both this Control d to duplicate then bring this here first like this and then select this one and bring it here so we got the cutout shape also now it's time to give the gradient fill so first select this shape and i'm going to select the gradient fill here i'm going to use maybe two stops one stop i'm going to use the light color here and the type let me just select the linear you can see here and this side i'm going to more color and i'm going to select some darker color here something like this you can see here like this you can just make it if you want more darker you can bring it here or you can add one more also and make something like this also so once this is done i'm going to select this and i'm going to select the gradient fill again now gradient fill both the ends i'm going to give some darker orange you can see here this side as well as this one i'm going to do the same color and here i'm going to add one more stop and go to more colors and i'm going to give a orange color here and this also i'm going to give the same color so it looks something like this and likewise i'm going to again select this one gradient fill for here i'm going to give some maybe a dark blue color you can see here or you can select this color as well and here also i'm going to select the same color and here i'm going to select some lighter colors maybe this color and this side also i'm going to select the same color so we got this one and the last one pink also i'm going to select the gradient here and delete from one side i want maybe go to more colors you can see here kind of this color i can give then here i can give some more darker color you can see here and then again i'm going to give some lighter color here you can add one more and then push it this one like this you can see here like this we can make it so we have given the the gradient fill also now it's time to give some shadow effect at the bottom for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle you can see here maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and again i'm going to select the gradient fill and gradient fill i'm going to select only two stop one stop i'm going to select black color here and the other stop i'm going to select the white color and i'm going to remove the transparency 100 percent so you can see here it looks something like this and then send this to back so we have given the shadow effect here press ctrl d add the shadow effect for this option also and again ctrl d bring it here direction i'm going to change it like this and again add it here and send this to back so you can see here i've given the shadow effect and if you want you can just select all and just try to align it in the center now it's time to add the options here go to insert text box and i'm going to say zero one or you can say a b c d also make it white center align any font of your choice you can choose increase the size you can see here something like this and if you want to give shadow effect you can give like this press ctrl d to duplicate so this is second this is third and this is fourth so just let me just change this one to two three and four and then if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can go and in, uh, use this icon so i'm just randomly selecting the icons so you can depending on your requirement you can select the icons then these icons i'm going to make the height and width as 0.5 only you can see here like this i can just select maybe this is my first one this is my second this is the third 
and this is the fourth and then you can go to insert text box and along with the title you can add so you can see here I can just add the text like this press ctrl D again make sure that it is properly aligned again ctrl D that's it so you can see here our design is ready you can add the title here and if you want to give a small animation effect that also can be done and before adding any animation let's add some glossy effect here go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size and later on we can increase or decrease shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select gradient fill type select radial direction make it this one and here i'm going to select white and here also i'm going to select white both the places white you can see here and this place the outer place i'm going to select the color which is available here so it looks like this and make it fully transparent and this one you can increase the size you can see here and then go to soft edges and reduce it here so you can see here you got a uh, effect something like this press ctrl d you can add one here again make sure to change the color here according to the color which we have selected here and again make it transparency if you want to reduce the size you can reduce it press ctrl d add one more here like this you can add different different glossy effects on each option so let me just group this all these four things you can see here i can just group this again here i can group this again here i'm going to group including the the shadow effect and again make sure that it is sent to back and here also i'm going to group this and again send this to back and this one you can group it and bring to front now go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select the first option add animation go to more entrance effect maybe you can select stretch and stretch maybe from left so it comes like this you can see here and then with this you can group these two also together and then for this also i'm going to give the same animation stretch and this should stretch from bottom like this and this should happen maybe after previous if i play it comes like this you can see here then i'm going to select this click on this one so it rest, stretch like this and then these things so let me just group this first you can see here i'm just grouping this icon or if you want you can do it separately also not a problem so this one i'm going to make it from top again select this so i have forgot to group this i believe yeah so let me just group this now and then select this and then i'm going to select this and group it so let me just play how it works you can see here so that's the end of the slide